Intel's a heavily IT-driven engineering company, and compared to a lot of IT companies, actually quite an old company. It's 46 years old, which in our industry is quite old, right, for an IT company. <laughs> um, and you know, Intel in the US um, and worldwide is coming up against all the same challenges that we're talking about tonight. And in fact, the IT industry has an appalling track record of female representation. And you can come up with all the excuses in the world, oh, they're engineering driven and women don't do engineering and all sorts of things. But 46 years later, after supposedly trying, we still only have about a 25% representation of Intel in senior leadership roles at Intel. And the more senior um, those roles get, the worse those percentages are. Um, and you know, the first thing you do when you look at those indexes is you run through with all the other IT companies and go, how bad are we? And <laughs> the reality is everyone's appalling, right? The whole industry is really bad. Um, and what we've started to do, and this is obviously over in Silicon Valley where you know, the, the industry is very concentrated, um, is that the industry has got together and decided to publicly um, print and share our statistics and our data around this. And this has only happened within the last six months. And for an employee of that company, it's very exciting for me to see that happening. Because, you know, we're holding it up. You know, Intel's number 12 on a list of 14, so that's awful. Um, but everyone's only within 1 or 2% mm -hmm. of each other. So, you know, in general, it's just pretty disgraceful. Um, and I think, in, you know, with engineering-led people and, you know, maybe people in this audience today, when you've got a target or some data, it actually gives people something to rally around. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing happening. So now that like the truth is out there, we're not doing good enough. Now some actionable processes are being put in place that hopefully won't take another 45 years to change that number. But you know we'll get, we'll get true um, progress within five year increments, which is the goal to get to 50% um, female representation within the next 10 years is the stated goal.